Hey guys, even here, and in this video we have a couple of things to go over. Firstly, this Yamamoto Pro show in Italy, which was won by Rolly Winkler. And I want to apologize for not making a video earlier. I didn't really bring the news, but I can give you my analysis. And so Rolly Winkler won it. Of course, the competition wasn't really that big, as much as it seemed like it's going to be. They had Sean Rodin at the poster, but apparently he was just a guest poser. And I'm um, right here, you can see Rolly Winkler who won it. And I don't know, I mean, he was not peeled. He was not conditioned again. Many people said that he was only a little bit off at the Mr. Olympia. But really, I'd say he was fat. I'd say he still had a, a layer of fat all over his physique. I think he should have dieted a little bit longer for the Mr. Olympia, which is pretty obvious in this posing routine right here, because if he was really just off, he would have got dry in that week. He would realize that he made a mistake in the first competition and he would get dry next one. But based on this photo right here, I think he was more conditioned in this Yamamoto Pro show. I think he was a little bit sharper, but still not as sharp as he needs to be to win the Mr. Olympia. So what I'm trying to say is that if he was just off at the Mr. Olympia, he would be peeled to the bone right here. I mean, that's just logical. Maybe he just didn't want to try too hard because he knew what was his competition. Maybe that's an option. But still, if he showed up like this at the Mr. Olympia, I don't think his placing would be much better. I mean, his abs, his stomach was always very lean naturally and his quads quite a bit. But the inner part of his quads, the glutes and the hamstrings and lower back, that's where the problem is for Rolly. That's where he holds a lot of water and fat. And that's why Dexter Jackson edged him out. Nathan Diasha, who is struggling with law problems, who may end up in jail, looked good, I mean, for his standards, for his structure and shape and everything, but it's not an improvement from last year by any means. He was conditioned, that is something that is pretty much rare these days, so he was conditioned, but, you know, he wasn't really much bigger than last year, nothing really changed. He's same old Nathan Diasha, and he was second at this year's Yamamoto Pro Show, which is a Mr. Olympia qualifier. I think this is the very first year for this show, correct me if I'm wrong. And Rolly Winkler is the one who won it, but he was already qualified by being fifth place in the Mr. Olympia, that's automatic qualification. And here you can see the comparison, so Rolly is much, much bigger. Much, much bigger than, than Nathan. And I mean, conditioning, sure, Nathan was sharper, especially you can see it here right through the glutes and the hamstrings as well, lower back too. Rolly was out of shape this whole year, but this mass is just too much. It is allowed for him to be out of shape, especially against these guys. Nathan Diash looks and always this no-name guy on the left. So compared to the top Olympians like Dexter Jackson, William Bonnet, Harry Chopin and Brandon Curry, this is really nothing for Rolly. He won this easily. I mean, just compare the size of his legs to Nathan's. And everything, I mean, his whole body is just much, much bigger. He looks like he's like 50 pounds bigger than him. Because Rolly is definitely one of the biggest guys in the Mr. Olympia. I think he was the biggest one. And compared to these guys, Lucas was 8th place and Nathan, if he competed, he would probably be top 6, top 7. So these guys, I mean, Rolly was a contender for the Mr. Olympia win. So this was an easy competition for him, an easy victory. Second place was Nathan Diasha, of course, and third place was Lucas Hosleti. Lucas was eighth in Mr. Olympia, seventh place was Cedric, and sixth place was Steve Kuklo. So I think Nathan would be top six, or maybe he would be beaten by uh, Steve Kuklo, but not by Cedric. I don't think he would be beaten by Cedric. Cedric was really off, really off with conditioning, and Nathan is sharp. He's always sharp, so I think he would edge him out. So, once again, Rolly won the show. I don't think he would compete here, but he's sponsored by Yamamoto Nutrition, so that's probably why he showed up. An easy victory for him. Just compare the size of his quads and his arms and his entire body to these two guys. Much, much bigger. A whole other level. But you can also pay attention to his inner, inner thighs and upper thighs, and you can see the conditioning difference. He was not, not conditioned, not here, not at the Mr. Olympia, not at the Arnold Classic or Arnold Classic Australia. This year was an off year for Rolly. Hopefully next year he will come sharper, maybe even win the Mr. Olympia. But it's going to be hard against guys like Phil Heath and maybe even Sean Roden, maybe even Kai Green and so on, who knows. But as for right now, not a great year for Rolly, but he has one pro victory and not a big show, but it's a pro victory still, so he gets a trophy and maybe some money to take home from his, from his sponsor.
We also had Classic Physique and Yamamoto Nutrition is the sponsor of Brion Ainsley, who won the show, won $3,000, which is a lot of money. I'm really wondering what he's going to do with all that money, <laughs> right? It's really a joke how little these guys get paid and what they actually provide for us fans and how much they're actually trying, how much effort they put in. But that's a topic for another video. As for now, you have Brion Ainsley winning this Yamamoto Pro Show in Classic Physique. Second place, Alex Cambronero. Very well deserved. It was kind of close between these two guys, but I was pretty sure that Brion is winning it. Brion is just much better than anybody else. I mean, I, I had him winning the Mr. Olympia, of course, if you watch the videos. He was just more complete than Chris, but Chris had some really good poses, such as, you know, absent eyes, he had great vacuum. A couple of others from the back, Brion destroyed him, but overall, I mean, it, that's also a topic for another video, but you could go either way. They were both great, and I mean, it's not really a mistake that uh, Chris won. Um, it was close. But yeah, Brion, I mean, he destroyed his lineup, absolutely. It was, I mean, really good showing from Alex Cambronero, but he's not as good as Brion. Let's be real, I mean, this is, this is really something special. I mean, I don't really prefer his structure or Chris's, but look at the development of the quads, of the chest, of, you know, his abs and his back and his glutes and hamstrings as well. Just a really, really good bodybuilder. As far as classic physique, sure, he fits in well because this is a really good 190 pounds or something. Can you imagine? Only 190 pounds. He's really packed. He really packed a lot of muscle on that frame and he has all the details. So I was surprised when he didn't win the Mr. Olympia, but Chris is also very good, as I already said. But still, this is very, very good physique of Bjorn Ainsley, who won the Yamamoto Pro Show. All right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is Dexter Jackson and his very own bodybuilding show, Dexter Jackson Classic, where we had our current Mr. Olympia winner, Brandon Curry, doing a little guest posing alongside with uh, Dexter. Dexter was sharper because this guy is always sharp. As you can see right here, Brandon is taking some of his oil. <laughs> and he's putting some oil on his body before he hits front double bicep and unfortunately he didn't take his shorts off or was it really unfortunate? Maybe it really wasn't because his legs are not as good and not as good as, uh, as Daxter's. Daxter really brought his legs up this year and he would probably look better than Brandon if he took his shorts off. But as far as their upper bodies, Brandon is a bit fuller, bigger, but he's not as conditioned as, as, as Daxter right here. And of course, it's just guest posing, so it doesn't really matter. But if this was a competition, Dexter would win it for sure. He's in better shape. He's the blade. He's always shredded. I don't know how he does it, but he's always lean. Whenever he guest poses, he's always the most conditioned guy. And Brandon looks huge and full. I'm really looking forward to seeing him defend his title next year, but I don't think he will hold on to it. I mean, if big guys show up, like Phil Heath, Kai Green, Sean Rodden, Big Remy, Flex Lewis, and so on. Talking about Big Ramy, he actually announced that he's doing the Arnold Classic this year. He actually confirmed it for RX Muscle. As you can see, they asked him, Hello Ramy, hope you're doing well, brother. Can you please confirm if you're competing at the Arnold Classic next year? Yes, I will. Thanks for asking. That's Big Ramy's response. So apparently he is doing Arnold Classic. And who else is doing Arnold Classic? Sean Roden, that's right. He made an official announcement in this interview with Nick. If you watch that, guys, you know what I'm talking about. He said that he's competing at the Arnold Classic. Of course, if all goes well, if he doesn't end up in jail because he's prosecuted right now for that rape charge. But after all that drama, I think we all concluded that that girl was a con artist or something like that. She's doing frauds. That's like her career. So I don't really think Sean will end up in jail. I think all this thing will resolve sooner than we expect. And... Hopefully, we'll see him at the Iron Classic against Big Ramy. That's gonna be a show I would like to watch more so than Mr. Olympia, to be honest. That's gonna be higher quality contenders. And hopefully, we will see both of these guys at the Mr. Olympia 2020. And that is going to be an amazing Mr. Olympia, I'm telling you. I can't wait for it. Another year, yeah, it's gonna be a long time, but it's gonna be worth waiting, trust me. I don't know if you guys know, but IBB Pro is divided to two separate federations. You have IBB Elite Pro and IBB Pro League. IBB Pro League is Mr. Olympia, Arnold Classic, and his big show special those in America. But for example, shows like uh, South Africa Arnold Classic or Arnold Classic Europe, that is IBB Pro Elite Pro, actually. And this guy right here won it. I think he won pretty much all the IBB Pro Elite Pro shows. 
He's really, really good bodybuilder. And the only reason that I can think of that he's doing this Elite Pro is because they're paying him well to stay there because he is much better than any other competitor that they have. If this guy decided to go to the Pro League, he would do great. He would be one of the top Mr. Olympia contenders, I'm telling you. Not exactly right now, maybe, but in a couple of years for sure. He has everything. Maybe I'll make a separate video about him to show you how he actually looks like, but if you want to check him out, his name is Michael Krizia or something like that. It's not really easy to pronounce that name. He's from Czech Republic, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but this guy has potential written all over that physique and he won the Arnold Classic Europe. And I want to conclude this video with the promise of uh, Patrick Moore. Yesterday, actually, sorry, the day before yesterday, I skipped a, a video day yesterday, I'm sorry for that. It happens sometimes. I have a life, you know, I also have a life, believe it or not. And uh, this guy, actually, I made a video about him saying that he may be our next new Ronnie Coleman. And uh, he actually made a promise right here. He says that next year, this is going to look like an amateur physique. So he is actually going to try to improve, to probably get bigger, because that's the only thing he can actually improve. He has the details, he has the complete development, he is big, but he could be much bigger. So he needs to get bigger, and that's the only improvement that he should make. And he just made a promise to us, so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing that. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you want to say something, tell me something, tell me down below in the comment section, say whatever you want, I will read all the comments, and I will respond to the interesting ones for sure. If you guys want to see more bodybuilding coverage and all kinds of bodybuilding videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.